Hello there all you nail techs, welcome. Well let's see if we can do another video tonight. Um, I think what we're going to do is try and do a very simple feather design on a black nail. So what we're going to do is start off by this prep tip. Paint it with black gel polish. Remember one thing, I would rather put on three very thin layers of black nail polish instead of one thick layer. Because if it's one thick layer, it peels off and it does not dry underneath. Then you sit with this nail that's formed all these lumps and it looks like it's frumbled up. It's because the gel is still wet underneath. So please take note, thin layers, you can see the nail coming through, but that is okay. Let's cure this one with the first layer quickly. Okay, so this first layer is cured, then we're going to put a second layer and see what it looks like. And if we do need a third, thin layer, then we will put a third layer on. It does not look like we're going to need a third layer. So we're going to cure this one and then I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now the second layer is cured. Now what I'm going to do is I've taken a little plate while my the, the, the nail was curing. I use my old little stamping plates. Turn them around and I use the back of them as my little palette. So I'm taking a very thin 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 brush like that and I'm going to start off by just dipping the end into the white gel so we're going to just draw it down and give it thin at the end then we're going to cure that because we want that to stay absolutely white okay so now that first piece that line with the white gel has been cured now what I do then is I load my brush and I start from a little bit from the top you go down out and down down, out, and down, down, out, and down, and that's how you carry on, thinner to the bottom of the nail, or the, you know, the free edge of the nail, because that's where the feather's end's going to be, so now I just turn the finger a little bit, so that I can do exactly the same here, down and out, down and out, down and out. Down and out and you carry on the same way again going thinner to the end of the nail absolutely like that okay so what i'm going to do now is take the brush again just try and try and go in between thin thin because you just want a little bit more definition because actual feathers are not that far apart 
they're actually quite close together. There we go. That is it. I think that looks nice enough. Now the big trick for me having this beautiful nail is I take a little bit of acrylic powder. So I've chosen this salmon color. Take my little scoopy and with my finger I just pat it where I want it to drop. There we go. Now I'm going to take the yellow. Sorry about that. Nearly dropped this acrylic. There we go. So now I'm going to take the yellow. And just for a little bit of effect, let's see if there's a little bit of a space left for a little bit of purple. This is really, really a simple, simple design that your customers would like, maybe just as that little bit of extra. So I've shaken off most of the powder. Now I'm just going to cure it and then we'll, we'll buff off, dust off all these little extras. So let's cure it for one minute. Okay, it was cured. Now I'm going to dust it off. Now, I'm just going to go back in with my liner brush and fix this line here because you actually do want it to stand out. You don't want it to be smudgy and with all this powder and stuff on it. So the, what we're going to do is see what we're going to do. So we're going to touch it again. There we go. So once again, we're just going to cure it. Okay, so now it's cured. I've dusted it. all the little pieces. And dust particles I've buffed off and I've dusted it off. Very simple, very, very elegant design if you do it with a pink nail or a yellow nail. Depends on what colors you use to do the feather. This is just a some idea. I hope you liked it. And then we'll do another video of simple designs again tomorrow night. I will just one picture. For you to see what the end result looked like and thank you for watching all my friends stay safe we're all worried about the coronavirus but you know what stay inside and do what you love thank you and bye bye